Can I have cash or request for cash? Thank you, Craig. Hi, Cash. Well done. Uh, congratulations. Uh, great performance. Um, how much was having another spinner at the other end, which is not normal for you in the test setup? Uh, did, how much did that push you as well in terms of uh, your performance during this test? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's always nice playing double spinner. I think at Kingsbeat, I'm used to uh, playing alongside another spinner. So it was really nice having the control of Simon on the other end. I think. He's probably uh, he's uh, probably had a really well, he did have a really really good game, and it's good to see that he's come back uh, a different type of bowler and different player. And you know he's he's world class. You can just see in the shape he gets on the ball and how go, how he goes about his uh, business. So I'm really pleased for him, and I'm really glad to have uh, formed a partnership with him on the other end. All right, for those, and then Ken. Hi, Keshav Wobble. Keshav, it seems like quite an emotional uh, celebration and an end to the match for you. And obviously you had your dad and some family here. Uh, can you just tell us about that and kind of your, your feelings around being here and doing so well at home? Yeah, it was very emotional for me. I, I love playing cricket at Kingsmead. Kingsmead's my home. And to have my family witness uh, me help the team over the line, it, it's even more special to me. And yeah, I think um, I heard something saying that, you know, obviously our record here at home is not great in terms of being at King's Mead. So, you know, I was just very happy and pleased that I could sort of change that sort of mindset and, you know, have everyone wanting to come play more cricket at King's Mead. Um, Ken, Talford, Dennis, and then we'll close with Kanyiso. Yes, I don't know um, if you saw the weather forecast and there's a huge amount of rain on, on the way, but you seemed in a hell of a rush this morning. Um, just tell us about your, your, your game plans for the, for the pitch today. I mean, uh, has the pitch changed significantly uh, over the last couple of days? What, what were the keys to your success? Um, to be honest, I don't think it's changed too much uh, over the last five days. It's not too traditional things we we could where you know the spin and bounce. Uh, there was a little bit of spin on offer, but I don't think it was consistent enough to say it's a traditional things we wicked. I think it was just about trying to be persistent with the lines and lengths and make it uncomfortable through our field sets uh, for the Bangladesh batters. Uh, and fortunately enough, we gained the reward. Talking. How's it, Kasha? Very well, Paul. Um, we saw in the first innings that you were putting in the hard yards and bowling well. And Simon was taking a lot of wickets at the, at the other end. Um, you know, is there just frustration built up in you when you can see another spinner doing that? And, and, and we could see you were certainly, you were, some of your um, celebrations today were, were, were quite big. Um, was that the frustration coming out from not taking wickets in the first test, first innings rather? No, not at all. I think, uh, you know, like I said, I've had a lot of domestic cricket here at Kingsmead to know that you're not going to get wickets all the time. Uh, I just was in my good space in terms of the way I felt the ball was coming out. It does get a bit frustrating not getting a reward, uh, but, uh, you know, having a world-class performer at the other end, you know, it's good to have that hunger and desire to want to win the game for your country. Dennis? Keshav, <clears throat> Dean has spoken a bit about um, you and Simon in the in, in practices and at training as well, that you guys really work with each other. Um, can you just give us a bit of insight into that and, and does it help both of you to, to have each other around? Yeah, definitely. I think having Simon on the team is, is a huge addition um, and working together. It's nice to learn how he sees things and obviously I would think that he likes to learn how I see things. I think it's my first time playing with Simon. I've always played against him. Uh, and just, yeah, he's good to have in the change room. He's lots of fun. Uh, he's got good ideas and he's, you know, he's matured a lot as a cricketer. Um, and, you know, you can see the way he's bowling. It's it's really, really world-class right now. The shape that on the ball, his trajectories, his lines, his lengths, and also the way he thinks about things on the field is like quite remarkable and an asset to this team. Can you stop? Um, Keshav, uh, good morning and congratulations on, on, on the win at Kingsmead. Um, how important, just from a pitch preparation perspective, how important is it to have players who play on different conditions um, coming together to adapt and contribute on a surface that has been behaving rather differently from what is a quintessential South African pitch that have been seen on the high field? Yeah, I think when you look at teams, every team is built on a different skill set. Similarly, 
you have a team that's played in various conditions and they add a different skill set and you know knowing uh, having a bit of local knowledge does take you a little bit further so it's it's really good to have that array of knowledge uh, and have the skill sets to sort of combat various teams i know it's probably not your traditional South African wicket or, or test wicket that you, you would play a subcontinental team on. But, you know, it's good to see that we have the adaptability to try and cross over the line in most instances. Thank you.